Hello everyone, my name is Paul Tranny and I'm an evangelist for Adobe and I want to show you how you can restore and really preserve those photos and stories. So we're talking video. Uh, we're actually going to make a whole website, but it's so easy. Uh, but I want to show you how you can empower yourself to do so. We're going to be, of course, using Adobe apps. Uh, you maybe have heard of right over here, Photoshop. Okay. Uh, I'll also kind of dive into Lightroom because that's going to enable us to process lots of photos. Spark is a sort of instant website creation and you can use Rush for video. That's kind of the short of it. But again, I like this stuff personally uh, just because it's really helped me restore sort of my family photos and everything. Uh, you can just go to Adobe.com you can check out what is Creative Cloud because everything is under this Creative Cloud umbrella. So uh, you can kind of check that out. But this is where you'd get Photoshop. So I already have Photoshop uh, installed, and I'm just going to show you some like exciting features. So let's just take like um, you know a photo. Let's just grab this one for instance of my late father. There he is, a dashing young man. Just happens to have this crease right down the center. That's not doing us any favors. But in Photoshop, and by the way, you can always get help, right? And there's hands-on tutorials. Um, but in short, what I would do is I would just jump in and, I don't know, grab what you think would be best. I don't know, this uh, little rubber, uh, excuse me, uh, this Band-Aid, the Spot Healing Brush tool. Select that, like come over here, maybe I want to get rid of that. Just click and drag over it. It's going to go ahead and get rid of it. So there's really nothing you need to know how to do to be able to clean up this photo. Um, and again, you can make the brush smaller if you want to. Uh, we won't worry about this too much. This is just giving you a glimpse into some Adobe technology. But I'm going to do something even more exciting as well because I have my grandparents here. Okay, This is something you're going to want to do as well. It's like, well, can we colorize this black and white photo? Like, I remember her wearing this sort of red blouse. Can we do that? Sure enough, we can. This is an exciting new technology. Neural filters. You've probably heard of um, uh, sort of uh, machine learning, right? Some AI work. That's what's going into this. It actually recognizes both of these people, which is cool. But I want to just colorize it. So this is the menu. Just go to what you want. You're like, hey, I want to colorize this. Let's just turn it on. Bup. Just turn it on. Ah. Oh. It did it so fast. Look, that's like no hands mode. Is that not impressive, right? So again, we have our uh, before and then our after. We can click OK. And we can touch this up all we want. We are in Photoshop. I won't get into any of the details. Let me get into something else really cool. You could do this with just like any old photo, say, of yourself uh, or say your grandparents. Like, what did they look like when they were younger? Or what am I going to look like when I'm older? Not that I'm young to begin with. But right up here, we'll go back into Neural Filters, and we have Smart Portrait. So I'm going to turn on Smart Portrait, and this is going to enable me to change my facial age. Like, uh, what am I going to look like when I'm older, right? We'll drag that over. We'll crank it clear up, say, 50 years into the future, and sort of there I am, sort of an older version of myself. And guess what? You can sort of rotate the head, increase or decrease the hair thickness. Of course, we want to increase that thickness. Um, and there you go. And you can actually output it as a new layer. So everything I'm doing is fully editable, uh, just so you know. So kind of just made this part, and there I am, an older gentleman, all with the click of a button. Um, but speaking of processing photos and all that fun stuff, what if you want to process a lot? I actually use this. I use this Epson Fast Photo Scanner. So this will actually scan in um, photos. You just put a stack on it. It'll run through, it'll scan them all. That's what I've done, because I ended up with so many photos, right? We have thousands upon thousands. So you can see them all in here, right? Oh, excuse me, let me switch over. Here's my thousands and thousands of photos, right? We can see them all in here. These are all the ones that I've scanned in using Fast Photo. Again, that's just what I use. I could open up these individually, right, and um, do any touch-ups that I need to in Photoshop. But another thing I can do is I can process all of these and output them as a smaller size and just do some color adjustments. I typically would use Lightroom to do that. Now, guess, disregard this, right? We want to actually add new photos. So these are just other photos I've added. We'll go up here to add photos. Boom. And let's go to that particular folder, grab all those folder, full, uh, 
images, import them, as you can see. Let's add all 35 photos, right? And the cool thing is, is as I do processing to these, like as I open up this photo, I'll just jump in and I'll just hit an auto, for instance, just to kind of brighten that up. Uh, it's it's non-destructive, so it's just kind of working on a proxy of this photo, right? And I can increase uh, the color, and even as we take a look, we can crop them, do some healing brush action, right? Um, and a number of other things that, um, yeah, that are really helpful. But I think what also is cool is coming down here into presets. So the presets will allow you just kind of roll over and see the different creative iterations of this photo that I can do. Uh, this is really cool. So if I do happen to pick uh, maybe one that just has more color to it, uh, let's go with, oh, so adorable. Okay, let's go with this one, for instance. Go into the presets rolling over those, and since this has color associated with it, you can see you could really change uh, the look with the cool light, you could warm it up, you get the idea. All right, black and white contrast if I want something more dramatic. And again, we're not affecting the final photo at all, right? It's just not affecting it. And if at any time I decide I want to um, edit any one of these in Photoshop, hey, we could do that as well. This is my grandpa, I'll just right click and let's edit in Photoshop. Now, let me just remind you, I was in Lightroom, now I'm in Photoshop. I can come down here, use that spot healing brush, right? And just kind of roll over that like so and get rid of this, this imperfection. Again, we wanna restore memories and restore these photos, make it look nice and fancy, just like this guy here. Saving it, closing it, right? We're back in here and uh, it will update again as soon as as soon as soon it, it'll refresh in a second. But the cool thing is, is I could take all these photos, right, once I've done all that processing, and I can export them out. Because again, we haven't applied these changes, but now we can export all 35 photos to my desktop, for instance, right? Maybe in a folder called uh, Family Photos, like that. Let's export them all out like that. And uh, again, do your processing and just, it's just a bunch of easy buttons in Lightroom is what I think, you know? But let's go ahead and turn this into a website. So I'm gonna go out to my uh, web browser and this is what I was showing earlier. So just go to what is Creative Cloud. That's where we wanna get those, um, these, um, you know, Photoshop, just download it free for seven days and do your processing, right? Uh, but I wanna get into something that is actually free, so this is awesome. So go to Spark, I'm just gonna type in spark.adobe.com. So these are our, sort of our free uh, tools for people who don't do design, right? So this is for um, pretty much anybody who wants to do any sort of uh, design that they want uh, that are and you're not a designer, right? So right over here, we can see, we can add this plus sign, but it does give you some options, make a presentation, all sorts of fun stuff. I'm gonna click this plus button because I wanna make a web page. Yeah, again, this is free, by the way, free web page. We'll click right in here. We'll do tranny family tree. Right, and we can scroll down and we can start to add things. So I love this, super easy, right? I wanna add some text, right? Type in whatever you want. I just threw in some dummy text, if you will, but we can add in photos as well. I wanna add in a lovely photo grid, right? Add photos to build your grid, right? There's a number of ones over here. You can connect to Google Photos, Google Drive, Dropbox, all that fun stuff, but I'm gonna upload those photos that I've output earlier. So we'll go to my desktop, family photos. There they are. I could have imported as many as I've wanted as I want. Here they all are. They're all loading in, right? Uh, everything's looking pretty good. And again, down at the bottom, we'll wait for this to happen. We'll hit save actually. But right down here, if I want to add a video um, or anything else, I can do that. So video, just add your YouTube link, right? Yeah, let's do that. Here we go, here's a YouTube link. This is already a finished video of uh, my awesome dad, right? So we can upload that. We've already sent that to the family, but we're gonna go ahead and put that on this web page as well. Actually go right in here. Let's actually add right in here a photo and we will get a photo from my desktop because I have this lovely collage 
And also right up here at the top, we have this lovely share button, right? Publish and share link. Now, let me show you something else though. I have a domain name already purchased. This domain name right up here, Tranny Family Tree, just points to this web page, right? That's all that's happening. So again, just to recap, this Tranny Family Tree points to my Spark page. So here it is as I scroll down, you can see these lovely images. If we wanna see any large, I can click right there. Beautiful, oh, gotta love that, Walt Disney World. Uh, and you guys get the idea. So again, this is free, free uh, website creation. It's called Adobe Spark page in this instance. Uh, and you can link that to a URL. So you could literally go out, try this out, trainingfamilytree.com. Uh, let me know what you think. And there's a number of other things that you can make as well. So presentation, slideshow, all that fun stuff, okay? So you click right here, you can see them all right in here. You could try a video, but what I would do, and this is what I'm gonna end with, hopefully I'm not going too long, um, but I would actually use something like Adobe Premiere Rush. We'll go ahead and import some images, right? We'll take this one, we'll take this one. Oh, that video that I made, yeah, we could drop that in, right? My grandparents right there. Uh, let's import some, I don't know, a number of images. That's all I'm doing, clicking create. Uh, typically I'd be uh, a little bit more um, strategic about uh, the images, about which ones I put where, but in general, it, they came in and put them on my timeline in that same order. And look what it did. It does this nice little pan, right? This is all automatic, right? There's the video. Oh, I didn't. I don't want it square. Well, guess what? 16 by nine, there we are, right? And now we can see those images like so. And we can take advantage of uh, music that we're giving you as well. So we can go right over here. Uh, we can add audio. I would take any audio right here, let's take that, let's add it. Boom, there it is, we've added audio to it. And then what do we wanna do? Uh, we wanna make sure that uh, we output it after we play it, everything looks good. I like it, let's close that. It's looking pretty good. All right, so with this video, you can reorganize those clips, add the audio, right? It does automatic ducking, so that means if somebody is talking in a video, the music will dip down, which is amazing. I could export this out locally. That's typically what I do, but if I wanted to save to YouTube, like I did earlier, I can go ahead and select that and it will upload to YouTube. And there you have it, sort of. Uh, you have video, right? You have imagery and then you have a web page. So thank you so much for watching. Reach out to me if you have questions and have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Thanks so much.